Okay, so there has been a lot of makeup launches. I'm like, do you know everybody's wearing a mask right now and they're not really into makeup, but the launches just keep on coming out. <laughs> I think I have one or two here that we can try together because I just got them in and they're really interesting. I'll obviously call those out, but let's go ahead and get started. The most hyped primer of 2021 so far. <laughs> this is something that went viral on TikTok. This is the Marshmallow Primer and I, I think like a month ago I did a makeup tutorial and I said that I used this and I didn't like it. I was mistaken. It was this one by L'Oreal that was just so matte and made my face so dry. So it was not this one. I'm so sorry. This one is actually really, really nice and I totally understand why it's super hype. I think the problem with hype is then your expectations are just like, this is gonna, you know, completely transform my face. But it's like that perfect in-between of being silky and like blurring out pores and texture, which I have just been uh, battling with lately. I don't know what it is, but actually tomorrow I'm gonna do a PRP facial, so. Ugh, I'm so excited and really really nervous at the same time, but yeah, this is sorry but This is the perfect in between of like blurring everything and really smoothing out fine lines and pores and Still remaining very hydrating and it smells delicious It really does. I got just the little two because as you can guess TikTok sells everything out and they just had this one left. If TikTok made you buy this too, let me know in the comments. But now we're gonna move into foundation. I love this new foundation by Jouer. This one is the Essential High Coverage Cream Foundation. It's oil-free. It is a matte finish, but I just feel like it really allows your makeup to last through the day. So if you are looking for that long wear foundation, I think this one's it. It photographs absolutely stunning, and it just like perfects your skin. What I like about it is that that it is very lightweight, like it's a thin foundation, even though it's a high coverage foundation. You know how usually they're so thick? This one actually feels so runny. I don't know, I'm really into it. And I don't usually gravitate towards Jouer, to be honest. Like I don't feel like I'm their target market, but lately I've been liking so many of their stuff. So I'm like, maybe I, I am, I don't know. Cause I think of Jouer as like a full blown, like Insta baddie, like 2014 kind of makeup look, but their formulations are really, really nice. I don't know who's wearing full foundation right now. I guess it's just me. <laughs> I'm just gonna use a little bit of this Kosas. They actually launched some new shades in their revealer concealer. I really like Kosas as well because they have all these like really good for you ingredients and it's just my vibe. I love it. So this is in the shade 3.5 and I like that it has a little bit of like a yellowy tone. Just brightens under there so nicely. Kosas also came out with such an amazing eyebrow product. So that's what we're going to get to soon. But first, just to set everything, I'm going to use this powder by Tatcha. Oh my god, this silk powder. I know Tatcha is expensive, but damn. I don't even know if I'm like necessarily using this correctly, but I just like pour it out onto the cap here and just start buffing. It is so fine and silk, like it literally makes my skin look like silk. And it just blurs all of that texture. Like I said, that texture you can tell has been on the forefront when I've been doing my makeup because I feel like it can allow your skin to look kind of um, cakey and like your makeup to just not look natural anymore. And you know, I still like to maintain a natural look even if I'm trying to, you know, conceal and cover up. So I have been loving this. It's so worth it. This is definitely the best translucent powder that I have tried. I would say better than, you know, Pat McGrath, better than the Glossier one, like which I always thought those ones were so natural looking, but this one definitely takes the cake. I love, 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 love. So nice job, Tatcha. So let's move on to the Kosas brow product. I love this. First off, the packaging is so cute. It reminds me of the little jelly sandals that I used to wear as a child. Just gummy candy, so cute. Actually in the PR package, they sent a bunch of candy that I'm still working through. So first let's use Brow Pop. I'm using the shade Brown Black. I really love how thin 
this pencil is. It kind of reminds me of Tom Ford, my Tom Ford brow sculpture, which is like my favorite brow product. You guys probably know this, but it's basically that, but much thinner. So everything is just gonna be more natural because you can actually get hair-like strokes, but it's pigmented enough that you don't have to press super hard. Um, you know, you're not gonna create like thick lines from all of the pressure that you're putting on. It has a very sculpted kind of tip. So you can use like the fatter side if you need to fill in more like on this brow and need to fill in like bigger gaps or the thin side if you need to make like thin strokes right up in the front to fill in. So I absolutely love it. And the spoolie, I know this is like kind of dumb to talk about, but actually it's not But because I love a really stiff, um, kind of hard bristled spoolie. I just feel like my brows need it because they're so unruly and it just combs through them. Beautifully. I love, 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 love this product. They also came out with some gels, so obviously we're gonna apply that as well. So this is the brow where I need to fill in the most. You can kind of see these bald spots. I'm just gonna lightly, like you literally don't even have to put much pressure and it fills in. And then this one, obviously, I gotta get a little thicker in there. Love it. They even have shades like red and gray, I think in their brow gel if I'm not mistaken. I'm not too sure on the pencil, but just check out their shade range is insane. Like for eyebrow products, usually, you know, there's like three or four, but this one actually has a really, really nice all-inclusive range. So I even like them more because of that. I like this brown black for me though. They also have a brow gel. So these are, this one's a clear one that I love is what I'm gonna use today just cause like they're already so bold. It's very lightweight, not flaky, not flaky at all. And it literally keeps them locked into place. I'm gonna go ahead and use the clear one. You can kind of like flatten it out if you wanna get that laminated look. You can definitely get it with this or you can just kind of like fluff it into place and have more of like a natural, just lightly feathered brow. Definitely one of my favorite launches so far of 2021 just because I have been using it literally every day since they sent it. Oh, let's get into these blush bronzers by Bare Minerals. Oh my God, they are so gorgeous. They're called blonzers and I kind of like the name as well. So I have the three here. So we have Kiss of Copper, which I have probably used the least of, but it is so freaking pretty. And then we have Kiss of Rose, which I have been using probably the most lately. I'm usually kind of scared of these really highly iridescent blushes, but this is such a soft focus that it doesn't emphasize the texture. Let's start off with this one because it is so pretty as well. Kiss of Pink and it's lighter and then I'll build up so you can see like the other color as well. Like you see how it just gives you like an instant glow, but it doesn't emphasize texture. Like I thought it was gonna be like the ColourPop ones. You know how ColourPop does have those blushes that are so pretty because they kind of are like creamy and then they have the iridescent, but no, this is actually so stunning. Works as a bronzer and a blush. So I'm gonna go ahead and use this one, Kiss of Rose on this side, and then we can just mix it to match. <laughs> just trying to, and you can even like push it up here on your temple. It gives you such a natural, it really just makes everything come alive. I'm obsessed with these. Definitely something I'm gonna be wearing all summer. This is gonna be like my summer makeup. So this one isn't necessarily a new launch. Danessa Myricks. Danessa Myricks just recently launched into Sephora, so I wanted to include her in here. I am obsessed with these pigments. These are called Twin Flames. It has this really cool reflect, like this flip. It gives the eye all kinds of different colors depending on you know the light, where it's hitting it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and apply this one. You can see it has like a little bit of blue. It's like a mermaid eye. Yeah, I got these a while ago off her own website, which you can still get. I'm sure there's probably like more selection. Then what they have at Sephora, I'm not quite sure to be honest, but if you're looking for something fun and easy, this is definitely up your alley. So sometimes what I like to do just so that everything looks kind of blended is just use a bronzer. This is actually the one by Kosas. I'm actually gonna 
just start with it on this side. A little contour. <laughs> now that we're here. Okay, back to these eyes. And then I'm going to take this e.l.f., which I've been loving. This mint collection as well is really surprised me. I liked it a lot more than I thought I would. And I especially like these no budge shadow sticks. So I'm just going to do, I'm just going to highlight the inner corner. And they have a really nice um, lasting power as well. So Makeup by Mario. Oh my god, I love this liquid liner. I'm going to do a really baby, like I said, I want to keep everything very natural looking, but I really love this Master Matte liquid liner. and This is in the shade Super Black. I'm just going to do a fine little... Okay, my, my camera died. We are back though. But I just want to do like a tiny little flick. Makes it so easy. You can get really, really precise, which I love. I wanted it all thin, but it's fine. My shaky hands got the best of me. Definitely one of the top three liquid eyeliners. That's easy, sharp, detailed, and super black and matte, which I like. So let's go ahead and try to match this. <laughs> Our best to, to match it up, but I'm gonna go ahead and just move on to mascara. I'm, I'm just gonna use the Sky by Charlotte Tilbury because it's been a fave lately that has not dried out on me. I need to get some new mascaras. Um, I don't think this is necessarily a new, new launch, but I really like the Pillow Talk collection from Charlotte Tilbury, so we're gonna use that. I feel like lately the mascaras that I've been getting, like new launch wise, have been very um, natural looking. Like I used the Victoria Beckham one and it's really natural looking. The one from Merit, very natural looking. And this one just brings the drama, so I want that. You can really build this up. Okay, so for lips, MAC actually came out with these new tinted lip balms but they are really moisturizing as well and you saw how chapped my lips are so I'm gonna try it out. This is one that is new to me. I had just kind of swatched them but I, had, I haven't used them on my lips. It looks like this, kind of looks like Genji's but definitely not matte like Genji's. These are creamy. Ooh, and this is the shade that tickles. Yeah, it's super pigmented, more pigmented than I thought they would be actually because I, I had swatched them and it looked like real sheer. That is the shade, very naturally toe. Oh, and let's just go ahead and add this. This is something new to me as well. I've been dying to try this product. This is the Illuminating Setting Spray by Cover Effects. So let's shake her up. Oh, it is, it is fine. It's a fine mister, I love those. The finest freaking mist, it feels like air. You know when you're like at a theme park and you're waiting in line in the dead heat of summer and they have those little misters going? That's how misty this is. Feels like I'm waiting in line at Riddler's Revenge. Okay, damn girl, that is nice. And it's an illuminating one, so we're gonna bring a little bit more health. You know, I like a glowy look. Ah, oh, I feel so cute. So those are the launches that have caught my eye recently that I have been really loving and using and wanted to share with you in this video. I hope you guys like the overall look. If there are any new makeup launches that you want me to try out, definitely shout them out in the comments down below. I'd love to see what is catching your eye and we can put it to the test. Yeah, thanks so much for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one. Ciao!